Welcome, welcome, welcome everybody. Back for another Chocolate Gaming News report to you from Chocolate Gaming Central, which is aka my apartment. I'm your host, Antonio Q. Tomasello, aka Chocolate Heat. That's a lot of chocolates in one sentence, but yeah. I'm here to give you the shit that happened this past week. Hope everyone had a good Thanksgiving, I definitely did. Turkey, mashed potatoes, ham, macaroni and cheese, got a bunch of leftovers, drank some eggnog. Had a good time. I actually went out for some shopping too, but we'll get into some of the deals also. But right now, let's hop into the news. Let's see, starting off, Star Citizen opens up to everyone for a week. If you don't know what Star Citizen is, it is a Kickstarter that uh, crowdfunded over $200 million, insane amount of crowdfunding for a game we not we didn't know too much about. Um, they went dark for a little bit. Everyone thought this was one of those cases where uh, the game would never come out, but they came out with an impressive trailer, uh, I want to say a month ago. It had all these stars in it. Um, the trailer was reported to cost millions of dollars just to make. Everyone's kind of astounded that it is happening, but uh, I believe it's happening this week. Um, you can register online at their website to be part of it, and it's going to be free for a week, and after that, of course, you have to pay when the game eventually does come out. Um, again, it's raised over $200 million. It's just insane for it to be happening coming out. It's a game that's supposed to have a lot of things promised. RPG elements, exploration, uh, massive multiplayer online kind of database thing. The, the game is just insane for the amount of stuff that it is saying it's going to do, but it looks like it's making progress. So it's going to be open for a week to anyone who wants to get into it. Uh, number two, Shimu 3 is closed as crowdfunding at about $7 million. If you don't know what Shimu is, it came out for the Dreamcast uh, as a cult following. It also came out for the Xbox, the second one. Um, I enjoyed the second one more than the first one, personally. Uh, if you never played the game, it's more, I think Yakuza. You have like a type of job and you have mundane tasks and go in different types of shops and play different games and stuff like that. The game is uh, revered to be kind of like a Grand Theft Auto before Grand Theft Auto got into it. Like you, you just had a lot of tasks to do. I recently went back and played the HD versions of them and uh, it's a little rough to be quite honest. Hopefully Shimon 3 changes all up and it's not the basics. The game itself is old of course and it plays like an old Shinmu game. It has a little bit of combat in it but it's mostly around the the job and the tasks you do and, and talking to uh, citizens and all that stuff. So try the game out uh, when it comes. I, actually, shoot, I don't even know when it comes out. Mm, I don't think it has a release date, but they did close crowdfunding, which is good. It's, again, it's progress towards when the game releases. So, Number three, No Man's Sky has a new update coming soon. It's called Visions. It adds biodomes, emotes, base parts, uh, shit, rainbows, which is weird that I saw. If you never played No Man's Sky, um, I'm going to be direct and honest with you. The game takes a certain kind of taste. It has a lot of things going for it. I uh, played the, when it first released on the PS4 by itself and when it came back out for the PS4 and Xbox with a big update and put in a lot of things that they promised years ago. I enjoyed it, but it's not a game I would gradually play on and on. It, uh, it requires you to collect a lot of things. And resources and it keeps going over and over and over you have to keep doing the same things over and over to progress and it has great ideas but honestly the game is a little boring I don't want to rip on it it's doing a great job after years of uh, a hiatus about the things they promised they're actually really pushing this game out so if you enjoy No Man's Sky look forward for the update number four Kingdom Hearts is gone go this is big I want to keep saying if you if you don't know what Gone Gold is, uh, it means the game is done. The game is done and it's time to print it or put it on disc or all that, whatever. So games have a release date and they try to stick to a release date, but until they officially go gold, they can push the release date back. So if the game is two months out and it hasn't gone gold yet, it's month, one month out, they could say, you know what, we still need more time to fix these bugs. Let's finish this stuff and then we'll go gold, we'll be done, we can print it out. But Kingdom Hearts has gone gold, which is great. It releases on January 29th, 2019. So I'm a big Kingdom Hearts fan. I love the first one. I love the second one. I love the PSP ones. A couple of DS ones are great. Uh, a little hit and misses with some of the games, but the, the core franchise, one and two, were fantastic games, and I'm looking forward to the next one. Five, kind of sad news a little bit. Uh, Fallout 76 players are less than Fallout 4. When you want to make a sequel, you always want to uh, have a bigger player base. You want to reach more people, you want to have more people playing your game, you want to have more people buying your game. Fallout 76 is not doing so great right now. I recently, um, I haven't played the game myself, but I looked into it 
um, looked into all the early gameplay impressions and it's not good. The game is very buggy. Um, I, I can't stand what the company, they don't have a great graphics engine. They don't. Skyrim and all that stuff that they make is getting old and I understand that these are great games. Fallout 4, Fallout 3, Skyrim, Metal Scrolls, trust me, Elder Scrolls 3 is my, one of my favorite games of all time. Their engine is getting old. They need to make a better engine. It just looks sloppy. It looks nasty. Along with that, there's so many bugs and now they introduce a multiplayer aspect to Fallout. It's more bugs on top of more bugs. We can forgive a game that has little bugs, but now when you add in the multiplayer aspect and you're playing with friends and you're having real big problems, it's not good. The game is a little bit barren. It's taken away from its RPG elements. To add the multiplayer, it still has a great Fallout uh, feel, but the game itself is is a little different. No NPCs in the world. It feels a little dull. Um, reports that if you're playing solo, you're not going to have fun with this game. I'm eventually going to pick it up. Maybe what's on sale again? It's on sale Black Friday and some uh, retailers, but I'm still not sold on it. From the stuff I've seen, I'm definitely not sold on it. But as of right now, it has less than half of the player base of Fallout 4, which is not good. Hopefully, with updates, they can fix the game, make it what it should be, and uh, get the player base up and sell some more. Uh, 6 is great news actually. If you enjoy the Castlevania franchise anime off Netflix, well there's good news for you. The Castlevania producer is on works to produce a type of a uh, universe with Castlevania and Devil May Cry. I'm very excited about this. Um, I'm really not sure what, what it's going to encompass. I'm really not sure how the universe is going to be held, but it is going to be an anime. I really enjoyed season 1 and season 2 of Castlevania. Season 2 was great. The ending was fantastic. They've been renewed for season three. And now with this, I don't know if it's gonna come before or after. It seems like it's gonna come after. I'm excited. I'm definitely excited to see the anime treatment for Devil May Cry because it has that stylized action that in an anime can be great. If you've never seen it before, there was a Devil May Cry anime before this years ago. It was kind of enjoyable. It wasn't the best, but this is better news. I'm really excited about that. So not too much going on uh, as far as the video game news itself. But I still got other stuff for you guys. If you're still Black Friday shopping slash um, Thursday, I know Thursday is really the shopping day now. So Black Thursday shopping, which I went, whatever. But Black Friday shopping, a lot of stores and retailers are doing a whole weekend thing now. So you got some time to get some extra stuff. Uh, anything you weren't able to get yesterday slash today, you might even be able to get uh, Saturday or Sunday, maybe even Monday for some retailers. And also, if you're not familiar, there is a... Uh, Cyber Monday deals, which I, I tend to look into, but I don't really see too much Cyber Monday deals I'm really psyched about every year. They don't have much uh, that's better than Black Friday, personally. But look into it. Um, most of major retailers, especially Amazon, do great Cyber Monday sales. Anyway, uh, just a couple of deals for you. If you're looking for 4K movies, Best Buy has some pretty good deals on Logan and Sicario, around $10. If you're looking for anything a little bit newer, Ant-Man, The Wasps, uh, Coco, Ready Player One, Infinity War, they're all 15 bucks on 4K. Of course, you can get some of this stuff uh, still cheap if you don't have a 4K player. Uh, they're on Blu-ray for sale. Regular DVDs, unfortunately, I don't buy regular DVDs anymore because all I have is at least Blu-ray or Ford. So, looking into stuff like that, uh, Best Buy has some good sales. And the great part about now, this year, is that they're doing a lot of online sales too. So you don't have to go into the store; you can just buy it offline. Easy peasy. There's also a Nintendo Pro Controller on Amazon for 60 bucks. I think it retails for 70 or 80 if I remember correctly, I can't. Uh, but, I mean, if you're looking for the Pro Controller, that's a pretty good price for it. I personally like the Power A wireless controller that they came out with. I wanna say it's 50 bucks. But, I mean, if you want the official brand, this Pro Controller is pretty good, so Smash is coming out. If you want something a little more sturdy, a little bit more fight pad oriented, the Pro Controller is where it's at. Uh, GameStop has a pretty good sale on games this year. Their Tomb Raider and their Assassin's Creed, along with other games, are $27. That's a pretty good deal, um, especially for two games that came out recently. Assassin's Creed's got rave reviews. Tomb Raider's got decent reviews. Um, but those are pretty good to pick up. If you have a Nintendo Switch, scan discs are on sale. The micro SD cards, um, these are steals, really. I highly, if you have a Switch, you need more memory. You seriously need more memory. And Amazon's got some pretty good deals. They got about 200 gigs running for 30, 64 gigs running for 12, and if you want a 400 gig, it's about 80. And there's gigs in between that um, with the prices varies, but go ahead and look on Amazon. I'll do a, a link to 
link down in the description. Uh, IGN's doing a great uh, comprehensive, comprehensive search of all the deals. And they did a, they linked them all together, so you can just go through and look at, well, there's games, entertainment systems, there's also, you know, cameras on sale, Best Buy's got a $400 uh, SLDR, uh, was it Rebel Cannon or something like that? Pretty good deal on that. Um, they also have a sale on cheaper camcorders and all that. I mean, it's, I, I love Black Friday shopping, you know, I don't suggest anyone go out and fight the crowds. But if you got a little bit of money to spend and you want a TV, you want a camera, this is really the best day to buy it. So if you don't want to go out, my suggestion is just look online and see what they got. Order and then wait for it to come in. You'll be alright. Video game releases, not too many, uh, not too much stuff came out. It's pretty bad to release a game uh, on Black Friday. It's actually just really stupid. Uh, one, because you can't put the game on sale because it just came out. You can, but it wouldn't make any sense. Battlefield 5 came out. It's getting okay reviews, it's got its problems. Stupid release date to be honest, and I think that's why it's not doing so great. But Battlefield 5 came out, uh, Farming Simulator, Farm Simulator came out for the Xbox and the PS4. Flashback came out for the Switch and the PS4, which is an old, correct me if I'm wrong, PC game. Wreckfest came out for the PS4 and Xbox. Uh, Soul Down came out for the PS4, which is previously on the Switch. Not too much great stuff coming out this week. But, I mean, what can you expect from Black Friday and all the deals? It's, it's just not smart. A few Blu-ray releases for you guys. Again, not too much came out. Black Friday, blah, blah, blah. Ken came out. I don't, I'm not sure what the movie's about. Looks like a kid gets a alien gun or something. It looks intriguing. Um, I'm going to have to check it out. That recently came out. Uh, Batman, The Mask of Phantasm, and Sub-Zero together. These are great original Batman animated movies. Some of the best of all time, um, and they're the oldest, so if you haven't seen them before, I suggest anyone to pick them up. They're great. They're on Blu-ray right now. Crazy Rich Asians, really not my forte in movies, but it's got great reviews. I heard it was a pretty good movie. Again, that's really it for the releases. I mean, How the Grinch Stole Christmas came out for 4K, I believe, on Sunday. Not too much stuff came out. Other than that, that's pretty much it for the news today. Um, I got some stuff coming down the pipeline. Hopefully I can get some video started. I know I don't want this fucking uh, graphic just on the screen just with me talking. I want some actual video game footage. I got my Elgato Pro in my computer that I need to hook up. Maybe get some gameplay footage of me playing games or something. And then eventually move on to more capture footage. I'm probably going out today to buy me a camera. Hopefully. If my car note lets me buy it. <laughs> car notes comes first. Maybe I can get some type of uh, reviews going soon. So uh, stick with me, uh, look me up on Facebook, Chocolate Gaming, and look me up on YouTube, Chocolate Gaming. And again, I'm your host, Antonio P. Tomasello, aka Chocolate Heat, signing out.